Team EF Pro Cycling have some wicked new special edition bikes for the Giro d'Italia and we have got one of them here to show you. This is the Cannondale System 6 of Tanel Kangert, uh, but the rest of the team will also have bikes with this fancy new livery on it, which is a collaboration with the skateboarding brand Palace. They'll also have this livery on their Super 6 climbing bikes and Super Slice TT bikes as well. As you can see, it's a radical departure from the standard pink and navy paint job that we normally see. So in this video, I'm going to show you all the details, tell you all about it, and of course, weigh the bike. Now, as mentioned, this is the bike of the Estonian Tanil Kangert, and this livery has resulted from a collaboration between Palace Skateboards, Rafa and Cannondale. And I understand that the aim of it was to create a, well, a look that was unique and disruptive amongst cycling. And uh, well, it certainly looks like they've achieved that. It's, it is pretty funky, isn't it? Palace Skateboards have a, a history of doing sort of left field collaborations with brands that you wouldn't necessarily expect. So in the past, they've worked with Reebok and even Juventus uh, football club and this is sort of the next uh, in a line of that and the frame is this really nice sort of satin white color i hope it can be seen on uh, on the camera but it's kind of got like silver in it and in this bright sunshine that is actually dazzling my eyes um it's really sort of popping and sparkling it looks really nice cannondale call this cashmere uh, and then we also have this acid yellow fork which is then color coordinated with the pro logo bar tape as well but I like that. We've also got some sort of cool logos on it. So we've got the Rafa logo that's on the top tube that's on uh, the non-drive side here. And then there's also one on the drive side, but that's not a Rafa logo. If you see, it's actually made to look like a Rafa logo, but it actually says Palace, which is uh, quite sneaky, but cool little detail. Also a few random ducks um, all over the bike as well. This and, and some suns as well. Uh, the reason behind this, well, there isn't really one. It's just random and fun and left field kind of like Palace, but uh, I have to say, I just think it's, you know, why not? It's kind of cool. And um, it also has that aesthetic of kind of sticker bombing your bike that's part and parcel of skateboarding culture and it's where skateboarding culture kind of collides uh, with a bike. So yeah, I like it. Onto the techie details then. And well, the System 6 is an aero bike. The team does also have uh, the Super 6 climbing bike at its disposal for mountainous stages, but on the sort of flatter, faster stages, this is the, usually their, uh, their weapon of choice. And as a result, it's got all the kind of you know, aero features we've come to expect. But something that really stands out to my eye is the really pronounced shoulder off the fork here that is a feature of a lot of aero bikes, but it is really pronounced on the System 6 just to help the airflow come over the down tube. Also, I like the way at the front end, there's no through axle lever on there as well. It's really neat when you just look at it head on. The team is sponsored by FSA Vision, um, and so we've got the Vision Metron 55 wheels, front and rear. These are actually a tubular version, and onto those we've got Vittoria Corsa G tubeless tyres, which are 28 millimetres as well, but they're sitting very flush on those rims, which is good to see. I've seen the team use uh, tubeless tyres as well with the Vision Metron SL like tubeless wheel. So it's interesting to see that on some stages they're using tubeless and on others they're still sticking with tubs, but it'll be interesting to see how that technology progresses in the future. The cockpit also comes from Vision and it's their Metron 5D integrated aero bar and stem. Looks very neat and slick and aero. Um, but one interesting detail is that this cockpit doesn't facilitate the cables routing through the stem and then into the head tube. So you have a slight modification to the bike. It's designed to accommodate this, but you can see the cables are neatly covered in this electrical tape to keep them nice and tidy and then they just root into this slot in the head tube. If you, uh, if you get one of these, well, System 6 bikes, they actually have a proprietary cockpit on them and the cables are all completely hidden, uh, more so than they are on this one. EF are not one of the main Shimano sponsored teams, but they are using Shimano components. So we've got 
Dura Ace Di2 derailleurs, uh, shifters, and the cassette is an 1130 Ultegra. Shimano chain on there as well. And the hydraulic disc brake rotors, they're 140 millimeter rear, both Dura Ace, and 160 millimeter front, which has kind of become a standard within the Pro Peloton that we're seeing most, most of them using when they use disc brakes. The chain set isn't from Shimano, so the cranks are Cannondale's proprietary hologram SI SL2 ones. They're like a really, really lightweight uh, bonded alloy crank. And then onto those, we've got a Spider, which is a Power 2 Max power meter, and then FSA chain rings, which are 5338. Interesting that it's not the uh, 5339, which is kind of like, well, a bit more common. One of the reasons that the team probably goes for this kind of setup on the chain set is because the bike has a PF30A bottom bracket, which works better with a 30 millimeter spindle and Shimano only makes 24 millimeter axle spindles for its bottom bracket. So you'd need an adapter in there. So it makes more sense to use uh, one of these. Other cool details on the bike, we've got tax uh, carbon bottle cages and really nice speed play uh, zero aero pedals. I have to say, I think these are my favorite pedals, mainly because they're aero and I think they look really, really cool. Also, we've got um, this little detail here, which caught my eye, which is this anodized rear derailleur hanger. It's like an extended rear derailleur hanger. And we've seen a few teams using these on different bikes, seen them on the NTT BMC bikes as well. And one of, one of the advantages of them is that they can help with faster wheel changes um, as the rear mech is already sort of out the way and you can just pull the wheel out more easily. The saddle is from Pro Logo, the team has the pick of whichever Pro Logo saddle the rider wants, and this is rather nice. So interestingly, it's one of the short nose saddles, um, which has sort of become a bit of a trend over the last few years, and it's got carbon rails. And I also like the junction box plate on this bike, which uh, is this nice little carbon affair, but it does look very neat. I'm now gonna weigh the bike, give you some dimensions as well. So the cockpit is 38 centimetre wide bars, uh, so nice and narrow and aero, and that's a 120 stem on there, but it's deceptive. It can look a bit shorter because it's an effective 120 stem because these bars actually sort of have a sweep uh, to them as well. Now the frame is a size 54, so let's, let's weigh it, see what it's coming in at. Place your bets now. So the scale's moving around a bit, but that is coming in to me at 7.6, which, well, heavier than the UCI limit, but is an aero bike with disc brakes, full race build. And when we've measured, or well, weighed, I should say, the Super 6 bikes, they've tended to come in pretty much bang on the 6.8 limit. So that's probably why they use them on the more mountainous stages. And I almost forgot, but the cranks, they're 172.5. If, uh, if you're interested and got to do a free hub sound check, so. Let's, uh, let's check it out. It's nice. Not dragging either. That's too good. Well lubed. Well lubed, that one. It doesn't end there though. In addition to the funky livery on the bikes, the team are also going to be getting special helmets from POC and clothing from Rafa as well to kind of like complete the whole the whole package. I look forward to, to seeing that definitely. But what do you think? Let us know. We're gonna have a poll. You can click on screen and vote on it now. The new EF Pro Cycling livery for the Giro d'Italia, hot or not? Vote now. I hope you've enjoyed this look at what I think is a really cool bike. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see all the other pro bikes in one place, well, you can find them on the GCN app. In the meantime, let us know what you think of it in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Give you some dimensions as well. And put my hand in some dog poo. God's sake.